Welcome to this video on the new Spider-Man suit as seen in Infinity War. On this channel Synergy Files we aim to inspire budding engineers and technicians for a better more sustainable world so please do subscribe to our channel. Spider-Man fans got the first glimpse of the new suit in the concluding scene of the homecoming movie. In this video we will try to peel off the layers from the mystery that surrounds the new Infinity War suit. We will look at it from an engineering perspective and see if the suit can be made with today's technology or not. While many of you may be wondering if the suit you have witnessed is the Iron Spider or some iteration of spider armor, we can safely say that it is neither. The closest resemblance of the suit that Spidey is wearing in the Infinity War movie is the suit from Spider-Man Worldwide series. From the look of it, this new suit provides flexibility to Spider-Man to perform his agile wall crawling and evading moves despite it looking more metallic than fabric. Is this even possible? Interestingly, with today's technology, it is. Watch this video till the end to find out how. If you look back in history, metallic armor has been mostly used for protection. Very notably, the male armor consisting of small metal rings linked together in a pattern to form a mesh can be seen in museums around the world. In the modern age, with the rapid development of material technology, we have several new materials that can be used instead of limited traditional materials. Today we have synthetic solids and fabrics and a whole new range of alloys and allotropes to choose from. For example, Kevlar is a synthetic material that is used for body armor and is much lighter and more effective than its metallic counterparts. And likewise, Nomex is a flame resistant aramid material that is not only used in electrical laminates and circuit boards, but also as a fabric where resistance from heat and flame is required. Interestingly, Batman has been reported to have used both Kevlar and Nomex in his suits. Other than protection from projectiles through Kevlar and fire through Nomex, there would still be impact resistance required to cushion ballistics or survive hard crashes. Amazingly, a new material has been developed by Boeing that is 100 times lighter than styrofoam but is as strong as titanium. This material is called the micro lattice and is made up of tiny interconnected metallic tubes. The micro lattice is a mesh of tubes each hollow on the inside creating a material that is 99.99% air but still incredibly durable. The material can also be compressed and manipulated and has extraordinarily high energy absorption. This material would be perfect for Spider-Man's new armor suit and would enhance his endurance in a battle. The suit made out of such material would be almost as light as air. Now a super armor for battle with creatures from outer space would not be complete if it doesn't have radiation shielding. Bear in mind the radiation can destroy not only the tissue and cells but can also cause damage to DNA. And despite the accelerated healing capability of superheroes, DNA damage would be difficult to reverse as it has a tendency to mutate. To shield ourselves from high frequency rays, lead plates are used. However, using a reasonably thick layer of lead would mean a heavyweight suit which would not go down well with Spider-Man's gravity-defying maneuvers. Scientists have now developed a new material which is much lighter. Although not as effective as lead, but it does provide some degree of radiation protection. This material is foam metal and it is different from the micro lattice discussed earlier. This technology is lightweight but is difficult to be incorporated in a suit in long pieces because of its brittleness. However, it can be broken down into small pieces and can be encased between two layers of fabric. Spider-Man's glowing eyes are also a new feature of the suit. Interestingly, just recently, it has been reported that scientists working on the miracle material graphene are in the process of developing a lens that will allow infrared vision. IBM in 2017 have already demonstrated mechanisms of graphene photoconductivity that make it an attractive infrared detector. Scientists have now developed infrared sensor with graphene that is the size of a contact lens. They have mentioned that if we integrate it with the contact lens or other wearable electronics, it expands your vision and it provides you another way of interacting with your environment. 
The miracle material it is, graphene can be used to add more capabilities to the suit. For instance, it can give the suit a cloaking ability, it can provide camouflage. And this technology of using graphene for camouflage is already well established. Furthermore, graphene can also be used as an air filter to protect from chemical weapons. As for Spider-Man's wall sticking ability and web slinging, we have already discussed that in our earlier video. Just to recap, with today's tech, Spider-Man's suit gets its armor capability from layers of Kevlar, Nomex, and Micro Lattice. It can use foam metal for radiation shielding. It can also use graphene for infrared vision, camouflage, and protection from inhaling airborne chemicals. So with new age material technology, superhero suits are gradually becoming a possibility. In many cases, it is a matter only of cost. And with this, the video on the engineering of Spider-Man's Infinity War costume is concluded. If you learned from this video, make sure you like it. We have done several videos on science and engineering of comic books, so make sure you check them out too. Subscribe to the channel for the latest technology videos. Thank you for your attention.